How's everybody doing? My name is Mike and we have Miss Barley with us today. So uh, what we're going to do with her is instead of just having the dog out in the room and putting uh, the collar on her, we're going to actually keep her in the crate when we take the collar on and off of her and that's going to do a couple things. Uh, in the home she was like, she's a fearful dog so any fearful dog is going to move backwards uh, especially if you're coming towards them. So if you're trying to leash a dog who is just out roaming around, it's going to be difficult and they're going to practice moving away and they're going to make it hard for you to put the collar on. Then what happens, that just becomes the game for them. Now that's what they do. When you have the leash, they think, oh, I'm going to avoid it, I'm going to avoid it. And then finally the owners have to trap the dog to get the collar on them. So, uh, you know, that you don't want to practice that because if you, if you start trapping the dog, uh, you're not getting the dog to willingly put it on. You're, you're kind of forcing them. And uh, when you do something like that, that's when they could give a bite to say, hey, stay away from me. So uh, she's a young puppy still, so the owners called at the right time and are trying to get this taken care of early because she was absolutely, when she got older, I believe she was going to start using her mouth, especially on visitors in the home. Uh, she was d definitely seeing the early signs of that with her. And uh, she is fearful. That's how a lot of people get bit. It's by fearful dogs reaching in uh, too quickly. So I'll show you how we kind of do this whole thing here. So I never let her run right out of the crate. That was the other thing she would do. The owner said she would just kind of run uh, right out of the crate. And when I have my hands, hey, I make sure she's not like targeting my hands or anything. And then I go right in for the collar. And with this collar, we also use a second carabiner on her. So. She's also wearing a flat collar we hooked this one up to. And we also use another carabiner on the leash uh, for safety reasons. That's another video though. So anytime I'm gonna put the collar on her, you see how she's sitting. I make sure she's not excited, not moving around too much. I make sure to look at her eyes and make sure she's not too nervous. If she's super nervous, you don't wanna go in, you wanna wait. And then I kind of show her the collar, let her sniff it, and then it goes right around her neck. And if you're not good at putting the collar on, you're going to want to practice. You're going to want to practice putting that collar on. So that's how we do it with them. We make sure we put the collar on and off. We take it on and off in the crate so that way she's not practicing moving away from us, running away from us anytime uh, we have the collar. Because for no reason do you want your dog ever avoiding you or playing that, that staying away from you uh, type game. So the safest thing is to put the collar on and off in the crate.